Fly for us, Billy. Four nine. Who wears a cape, but isn't Batman? Who can fly through the air, but's not Superman? Greatest American hero, naturally. That's who. Every week, uh, you can see this rather dubious superpower fly through the air. Sort of. Watch. That is, was, and forever will be. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Cat, good morning. How nice you doing? You. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Bill, excuse me. Bill. I'm still, I, it's baseball, I apologize. I'm thinking the baseball pitchers with Cotton and Jim. Anyway, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, how does it feel to get into that costume and do that? It's uh, a horrendous experience, one that I wouldn't... Uh, wish on my best friend but uh, then why do it why do it well it, it it's part of the character I mean the character and I share that uh, a very common feeling about that suit I mean it's a it's a terribly embarrassing situation to have to put it on and in reality if I had to walk down Broadway in right. that suit I'd feel just terribly silly true and in fact as the character I feel feel equally as silly but the role is more to the role though than just silliness there certainly is. How do you like the role? If, it's, if it feels so terrible to get in the suit, how do you feel about the role? Um, I think, it, I think it's a, a, a provocative role. I mean, it gives me a chance to uh, do straight drama and at times stretch out and do slapstick and, uh, and, uh, and satire. And, uh, do people understand that, though, about the program? Or is it seen only as you I, being silly? And I don't that, know. Uh, they, they tend to promote the show most, mostly um, with clips of me being silly. Yeah. You know, or, or uh, but there's more to it than that. Than that. I think the, uh, the, the, the real focus of the show is the relationships between uh, Robert Culp and myself and uh, Connie Selica. Right. That's where the real comedy. Do you think more in. people might be drawn to it if it were promoted other than you just being silly? I think or so. Your character, you know. I think so because it's it's uh, it's all uh, the humor comes out of the attitudes. It comes right. out of we we play it straight, right? Which I think uh, uh, lets us get by and 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 ha uh, lends a, a ring of truth to the story. Because one of the opening reviews of the of the, the program said that it had the potential for being a really important, interesting, mm -hmm. and more than met the eye mm -hmm, by mm -hmm. one of the best reviewers, I guess, in television. Has that been realized in your, in your mind, or would you like to see it done uh, differently, or whatever? I, or I, am I putting you on a spot? No, I tell you, I, uh, you know, I, uh, I've talked with Stephen Cannell uh, uh, several times about producer, where I writer. would produce a writer, who's an incredible man, and, uh, and a very gifted writer. Uh, I would like to see the show stretch out right. and, uh, and, and deal with a little bit uh, more complex uh, situations, not so much uh, chasing the, the right. you know, the the, the the bad guys, you know, but... Uh, Are you concerned about being typed? Uh, I mean, George Reeves was typed in, yeah. in a role, and Adam West as Batman. Are you concerned? I mean, here you've played in, you know, in Carrie, when yeah. we got, you know, mm -hmm. became very familiar with you mm -hmm. in Carrie, which is a wonderful movie, and uh, the Butch Cassidy and so forth, and, yeah. but you know, serious pro and all of that. How concerned are you that you'll be typed in this and you won't be able to do other things later because they'll see you in the suit? Well, I guess there is that uh, there is that possibility. However, I have to rest on my uh, body of work. Yeah. And over the last ten years or so, twelve years, I've I've been able to do some um, uh, a lot of different things, which I think will be my saving grace, perhaps. Yeah. You're, you're here, your mother and dad were fine professional mm -hmm. performers and well-known, right? Your mm -hmm. mom is Della Street that we got to know so well in Perry Mason. Your dad is Kit Carson for many years. Were you trapped into becoming an actor? I mean, you started at how big? Oh, that very. big, you were around movie sets. Yeah. Did you really have a choice? Yeah, I, I think I did. I think I had a choice. However, uh, I, I think it was uh, uh, an unconscious decision that I became an actor. 
Unconscious, yeah. Unconscious. I, yeah. I don't think I really made a, a serious decision until I was, uh, well, until I did carry, and I was 25 when I did carry. When you, now, you have a son, right, you're raising. Mm -hmm. What did you learn as you grew up in a movie, television, show business family uh, that is helping you to perhaps raise your son, your family life, a little differently, uh, you know, in your judgment, maybe a little better? Is there anything you're doing differently from the way you were raised so that... Anything he won't be, yeah, that he won't have to live with too many of the pressures that go along with it. Uh, about the only thing that, uh, being, being in television and working, you know, from, from doing serious television, the hours are absolutely horrendous. Mm -hmm. So uh, the only thing that I try and do is I try to make my time with my child uh, very quality oriented right. time. And uh, that's about all I can do. And spend as much as you can. Lend myself right. to him and be very positive in, uh, with him. in an upbringing. What about autographs? Autographs, they don't, uh, <clears throat> I've learned how to say no, yeah. which uh, might uh, right. or might not be a good quality. However, uh, it, it, You think it's in his interest to say no? Yes, Especially I do. when you're with him? At yeah. times, at times. Yeah. If there's a family situation where, where I feel we're being bothered, I'll say, wait. When we're through here, then I'll sign autographs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. William, it's good to meet you. By the First way, time. I have to say happy birthday to my wife. Her present is underneath the water heater. Okay. That's it? <laughs> That's marvelous. Underneath the water heater? Yeah. Good. We, we had an Uncle Don on the radio when I was growing up here in New York, and if the parent wrote in, he would tell you where you're present. How, we could start a whole new thing. Thank okay. you. Thank you, David. And happy birthday to... Debbie, my wife. Debbie. Happy birthday, Debbie. Right. Thank you, William. Quarter of right now.